Step one, click on Create Project and input the client's address, first and last name. Step two, click on the word Map and move the green icon to the house for which you wish to perform your shading analysis. Step three, click on the word 2D and click on the draw roof icon to place nodes at all the intersections of your building. After you're done outlining your building, click on the Detect Roof Structure icon to automatically identify the azimuths of the different roof surfaces. Make sure to add any obstructions you may see. And you can also add trees by clicking on the Draw Tree icon and drawing a circle whose diameter is approximately equal to the map image you can see in front of you. Once you're done, hit Save, and then move on to step four, which is moving to 3D mode. Once you're in 3D mode, if LiDAR is available, click on Download LiDAR Data. My personal favorite is to switch over to the untextured view. Once you have LiDAR data, you will want to calibrate it for your site. To calibrate your LiDAR data, go ahead and switch the XY axis so that the LiDAR data perfectly overlaps your building. Next, click on Lift Roofs, and that will automatically resize your building to match up with your LiDAR data. If you do not have a premium account, or if your LiDAR data is not available, you can use the Street View to help perfect your 3D model. To do that, reach up to the top of your screen and drag that down, and now you have your 3D model side by side with street view. So in this case I'm going to change this one chimney height because LiDAR does not change that for me. Great. Next, once you are happy with your 3D model, move on to step 6 which is click on designs. This is where you're going to place your modules on your roof. Give your design a name and hit create. There are many different ways to place modules on your roof. I am going to use Aurora's automatic system design. To do that, I will click on Optimize over here. I will put in how much energy I want the system to design. So let's put in 10,000 kilowatt hours. I will choose which modules I would like it to choose between. And I will go ahead and choose some string inverters. I will choose some DC optimizers, and I will choose a microinverter. And I will go ahead and click OK and let Aurora design the system for me. Keep in mind you can also do this manually, but by allowing Aurora to do this for me, I save myself a lot of time. Okay, 
I can go ahead and adjust the system if I wish, but in this case I am pretty happy with what it came up with, so I will go ahead and hit save, and move to the final step, which is to click on Shade Report. Give Aurora a second to pull in all the information from your design, run your shading analysis, download your LiDAR, and put it all together in one neat report for you. You can't change any of the numbers here because those are automatically generated. However, you can choose things such as the zoom level and the camera angle of your design. Make sure to orient your building in such a way that it is easy for the rebate authorities and financing authorities to verify the site for which you are performing your shading analysis. The final step is to reach up to the top and click on print and generate a nice PDF that you can now send for financing and rebate purposes. So there you have it. In a few short steps, you can generate a bankable shading report, saving you a truck roll and avoiding climbing on roofs using Aurora. Shading analysis is just one of many things you can do in Aurora. To learn how Aurora can be your one-stop solution for solar sales and engineering design, please visit www.aurorasolar.com.